Did you know that a tiny fly can turn your skin into a living, breathing chamber for its baby? In this shocking yet fascinating video, we dive into the world of botfly maggots, parasitic larvae that burrow deep under human skin and grow while feeding on tissue. This video is brought to you by Ghulam Farouk, Chief Executive of Medicalogy and MAMS Medical. With over 600 medically focused videos produced, his content serves as a valuable resource for medical professionals, students, and anyone interested in rare clinical conditions and real-life medical cases. Watch closely as we reveal how these maggots infect the human body, starting from an unsuspecting mosquito bite to a wriggling creature living beneath the surface of your skin. Symptoms section. You'll witness the telltale symptoms of botfly myosis, painful lumps, strange movements under the skin, and visible breathing holes. But that's not all. This video includes real footage of a live extraction, where a growing larva is carefully removed from human flesh. If you're curious about parasites, tropical diseases, or just love unbelievable medical stories, you won't want to miss this eye-opening visual. Health awareness. Botfly maggot infestations are a serious medical issue. Understanding how these parasites infect humans helps in taking necessary precautions. With prompt medical intervention and proper hygiene, botfly myosis can be treated effectively and complications can be avoided. Always seek professional care if you suspect a maggot infection and practice preventive measures like insect repellent and protective clothing to minimize the risk of infestation about botfly maggots. Maggots in the human body may sound horrifying, but this condition, medically known as myosis, is a real parasitic infestation caused by the larvae of certain fly species. One of the most well-known and disturbing causes of human myosis is the botfly, particularly Dermatobia hominis. Botfly maggots are capable of penetrating human skin developing within the tissue and feeding off body fluids until they are mature enough to exit the host. Although rarely fatal, this infestation is painful, psychologically distressing, and potentially dangerous if left untreated. How botfly maggots infect humans? Botfly infestation begins when an adult female botfly lays her eggs, not directly on humans, but often on another insect such as a mosquito, tick, or even a housefly. These insects act as carriers or vectors. When the carrier insect bites or lands on a human, the body heat triggers the botfly eggs to hatch, allowing the tiny larvae to burrow into the skin through the bite wound or nearby hair follicles. In some cases, eggs may even be deposited on clothing or bedding, where larvae later find their way onto the skin. Once the maggot is inside the skin, it begins its development by feeding on tissue and fluids. This results in a red, swollen, and often painful lump, resembling a boil or cyst. A hallmark feature of botfly myosis is a small hole at the center of the lump through which the larva breathes. People often report a tingling or crawling sensation as the maggot moves. Over time, if untreated, the area can become infected, causing pus discharge, tissue destruction, and additional complications. Symptoms of botfly myosis. The early signs of botfly maggot infestation include itching, redness, and the development of a firm nodule. As the maggot grows, the lump becomes larger and more painful. A visible breathing hole may appear and clear or yellowish fluid might seep from it. The presence of movement beneath the skin is one of the most disturbing symptoms. In some cases, Secondary bacterial infection may cause fever, swelling of surrounding tissues, and general discomfort. Extraction process of botfly maggots. Treating botfly myosis involves removing the maggot from the skin, which must be done carefully, to prevent leaving parts of the larva inside. This can lead to infection or allergic reactions. One common method is occlusion, where the breathing hole is covered with petroleum jelly, nail polish, or adhesive tape to suffocate the maggot deprived of oxygen. The maggot moves toward the surface, making it easier to extract with tweezers. In more severe 
or deeply embedded cases, surgical extraction may be necessary. A healthcare professional makes a small incision to access and remove the larva entirely. After removal, the wound is cleaned and treated with antibiotics to prevent infection. It's crucial to seek medical help instead of attempting self-removal, as improper handling can cause further tissue damage or incomplete removal. Thank you for watching. For more medical videos and the latest developments in medical science, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon on both Medicalogy and MAMS Medical, your trusted channels for real clinical cases and medical education.